What's happening here tonight at the uh, Royal Albert Hall downstairs is a 3D sound clash. People are flying sounds around in three dimensions all around the space uh, and it's crazy. My name's Paul Gilleran, I'm an acoustic designer, basically involved in concert halls and theatres and in this particular case designing a concept for reproducing sound in three dimensions based on the early work of uh, David Gerson in the 60s. He asked the question how do we hear in three dimensions because we obviously do and he worked out how we hear height which is very important not just the stereo thing in the lateral plane and he designed a microphone which recorded in three dimensions which was a masterpiece. He then used an encoded version of that to play back natural 3D sound in any studio. And we now have digital machines which do 3D processing in three dimensions. We're gonna have two rings of eight, eight big PA speakers within the space. So eight flown high in the space and eight at ground level plus sub. You've got a kind of solid cube of sound in here. If you take a stereo feed from a DJ and you start flying the, that stereo sound around the space, it sounds incredible, but it'll make people fall over because basically the kick drum is like right next to you, you're going, yeah, yeah, and it disappears somewhere over there. So what we normally do is we take one side of the stereo feed and we basically uh, fix it in space in the middle of the dance floor low so that you've always got something to dance to all around the space and then the other then the other side of the stereo can be flown around using a three-dimensional joystick Watching the laptop in there and all the different beats and the, the frequencies of the sound and you're kind of tracking every bit going around and back and forth and pausing and everything like that and it's, yeah, you can see it and you can feel, feel the direction of the sound which is really, really nice. In some ways, yeah, it's really strange to not have the sound coming from one area but just surrounding you. You can build up a soundscape in three dimensions, which means that as well as sounds moving around in the normal two-dimensional plane, like you hear in a stereo system or in a cinema, we actually have sounds which move up and down through the ceiling and disappear through the floor. It's not like sending sound to each speaker to make it move, but you're actually changing the phase of the sound in each speaker, and as you do that, you get the impression of movement. It's a much more complex system, very sophisticated digital electronics. Rather than the sound being at one end of the room and you're listening to it, you're actually in the centre of the experience, so the whole thing is revolving around you. Uh, it's very immersive, it's very, it's very emotional in that sense. Like when I walked in, I didn't know what to expect, but I walked in and it was like, it's like an echo, like I go to part of the room, you can hear it really loud, and it's like two records being played. It sounds like really delayed sometimes, but definitely different. It's just felt a bit like a new world, I think. It seems to move you on a deeper, deeper level. After a while you get used to it and then when you go back to stereo it doesn't quite sound right. It feels like it should have been done before. 